Hello, hello, I'm Beth Joey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. This is the channel where I paint my face, turn my camera on and talk about some books. We are finally heading into fall, one of my favorite seasons. It is my birthday season, although my actual birthday season from where I was born is spring because everything's different in the Southern Hemisphere. But over here in the UK, fall is my birthday season. So I'm super, super excited for a few anticipated releases that are coming out this fall. And maybe this is a hint to some people, maybe a birthday presents. Hey, Ben and mom, come watch this video. There actually isn't that many of the books that I've been looking looking forward to coming out in full. Most of the ones that I'm going to mention today are actually going to be sequels for books that I have already read. Hint, hint, here are a few of them here. So yeah, let's just jump right in. The first book that I'm looking forward to coming out in fall is coming out in November 2022, which is A Restless Truth by Freya Mask. This is the sequel to A Marvelous Light by Freya Mask. A Marvelous Light is set in an alternative Edwardian England. It's very much a comedy of errors and it includes a magic infused murder mystery and of course a beautiful queer romance. It follows a young baronet, Robin Blythe, who thinks he's just taking up a regular governmental post. He's trying to be a good brother and trying to recoup the losses from his parents' excesses. However, he soon finds out that due to an administrative error, he's appointed to be the sort of human liaison to a secret magical society that he has never heard of before. Cursed by mysterious attackers and plagued by visions, Robin is determined to gain answers from his missing predecessor with the help of Edwin Corsi, his secret magical society counterpart, who is definitely very, very hostile and thinks that Robin maybe has something to do with the predecessor's disappearance. This is a book that I really, really enjoyed. I did give it three stars, but the enjoyment level was high. There were just some writing style things that I didn't 100% love. I'll link up above and down below the video where I talk about it in a bit more detail. But yes, the sequel, A Restless Truth, is coming out in November, right around my birthday. The second book is coming out on the 13th of September, and this is The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber, which is the sequel to Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber, which I absolutely loved. I think I gave this four or five stars when I read it. I'll link up above and down below the video where I talk about it. I just love the Caravelle universe. And essentially it follows a girl by the name of Evangeline, who in order to try and stop the man that she loves from marrying someone else, she makes a deal with the Prince of Hearts, Jax, who features quite heavily towards the end of the Caravelle trilogy to stop the wedding from taking place. And in return, he demands three kisses. Thinking that this is pretty harmless, Evangeline of course agrees to this deal only to discover that these three kisses actually lead to a plot that might destroy the world she grew up in. Evangeline realizes that making a deal with the devil is a dangerous game. Of course I absolutely loved this book and I am so so looking forward to its sequel. Jax is one of my favorite characters in the Caravelle universe and I loved the naivety and the innocence of this story and the way Evangeline told it so I'm super super excited for 13th of September when we get the sequel. I think I'm getting the fairy loot special edition of it which is even better so yeah, that's my second anticipated release for the fall. Next up, we have the final sequel for this video and then one last book afterwards. And the sequel is Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail by Ashley Herring Blake, which of course is the sequel to Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake, which I read as part of Whateverthon. And I'll link the video up above and down below so you can go and check it out. Delilah Green Doesn't Care follows Delilah Green, who is a successful photographer living in New York City. And she promised herself that she would never return to her hometown of Bright Falls after a fairly tumultuous relationship with her stepmother and stepsister. Until one day her stepsister invites her to come back and photograph her wedding, which of course Delilah takes her up on this offer because there is a hefty paycheck attached to it. So Delilah returns to Bright Falls and decides she might as well have a little fun while she's there and throw a wrench into the works. She meets Claire Sutherland, which is one of her stepsister's best friends. And Delilah immediately feels an attraction to Claire and decides to pursue her, have a bit of fun and potentially fall in love with this single mother. I absolutely love this story. I think it is absolutely badass. I love the women in it. I love the empowerment in it. And I love the sort of found family storyline where you get these women who created their own family because potentially the situations that they grew up in weren't particularly healthy or suitable or good in any way, shape or form. And it's just a beautiful story. This book comes out right at the end of fall around November 22nd. And the very, very last book that I am looking forward to coming out in the fall is Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. I am looking forward to this, not because I've read any of Chloe Gong's other works, but because I have heard so, so much about how well loved her books are and I just have to get behind it. And this cover is absolutely flooring to me. I think it is absolutely beautiful. So of course I can't wait to read the book that goes with it, but I don't know what it's about. 
So I'm going to read you the blurb of Goodreads, which says, It's 1931 in Shanghai, and the stage is set for a new decade of intrigue. Four years ago, Rosalind Lang was brought back from the brink of death, but the strange experiment that saved her also stopped her from sleeping and aging, and allows her to heal from any wound. In short, Rosalind cannot die. Now desperate for redemption from her traitorous past, she uses her abilities as an assassin for her country, codename Fortune. But when the Japanese Imperial Army begins its invasion march, Rosalind's mission pivots. A series of murders is causing unrest in Shanghai, and the Japanese are under suspicion. Rosalind's new orders are, are to infiltrate foreign society and identify the culprits behind the terror plot before more of her people are killed. To reduce suspicion, however, she must pose as the wife of another nationalist spy, Orion Hong. And though Rosalind finds Orion's cavalier attitude and playboy demeanor infuriating, she is willing to work with him for the greater good. But Orion has an agenda of his own, and Rosalind has secrets that she wants to keep buried. As they both attempt to unravel the conspiracy, the two spies soon find that there are deeper and more horrifying layers to this mystery than they ever imagined. So it looks like a historical romance, there's definitely a mystery element, there's definitely a political element here as well. That is my fourth and final anticipated release for the fall. Let me know down below if you are looking forward to the release of any of these books, or if there are any other anticipated releases coming for the fall that you are looking forward to. Come and chat to me in the comments down below, and come and some of those other books to me because I am kind of sad by how few books there are on this list there's just there's nothing really coming out that I'm really really keen for um but yeah come and chat to me in the comments down below I do my best to reply to every single comment and I love talking to you guys I really really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please do let me know by liking subscribing and hitting that notification bell all down below it is a super super easy way to help my channel grow and I will see you lovely people in my next video bye